place is buzzing with pheromones. Pheromones everywhere, and a flex swing underneath me. Right, me head on a swivel today. Head on a swivel. Welcome to the channel and this video is all about the wacky weekend at Wingland's airfield and I'll show you a little bit of the map of where Wingland's is and a bit of their website. It's a really friendly group here, they do model flying here, paramotoring and also they do allow flex wings and, and micro lights to come in here. It's a really short strip so I'll give you the details about the strip on the, uh, on the little bit of that's going on the screen now. Um, but it's a really friendly group here. Last time I was here was two years ago. I haven't been able to get back due to either restrictions or personal reasons. But uh, but they always make you feel welcome. I just give you a quick pan of what's going on, and there's a, a few bits and pieces. And this is only in the morning. Everyone came last night, uh, and I, I know there's more people heading up today, right through to the bank holiday. So anyway, I'll give you a bit of a flavour of what's going on, and uh, and hopefully enjoy the video. I say good evening because of the sunset, but it depends when you're watching this video. Um, this is the first flight I've managed to put on video for the uh, wacky weekend. So uh, it's been howling a gale all day today, and as you may have seen some of the aircraft arriving, we're doing very well to get in. So anyway, long and short of it, I've, um, I've managed to get myself out of the circuit this evening as the winds have dropped nicely um, and I'm just going to go on a local flight towards Skegness. The reason for that is I've never been there before. I'm not actually going to land at Skegness. I'm going to overfly Skegness and come back um, because I was hoping to try and meet some of my friends. If the weather comes good, there may be another video, but, uh, but I wanted to fly there, see if I could do it and then come back. So it's about 60 miles. Um, and I just wanted to enjoy the lovely evening that we've got. It's now 10 to 7, um, and I reckon I can do it in about an hour and a half and be back by bedtime. Hi everyone, at Wingland, as you can probably tell, it's a little bit windy, and the gentleman standing next to me is, uh, is Mike O'Hara. Uh, I know it actually says so here, but, uh, <laughs> but Mike and I know each other from paramotoring because, Mike, you want to try and do some crazy things with a paramotor, don't you? Uh, trying to. Trying, trying to. to. Trying. So anyway, I saw Mike was coming in today, and as you might be able to see behind me is this lovely Union flag um, Quick R, which came in. But what I also noticed is all this lovely branding on this aircraft. Why is this aircraft so special, Mike? It's, why is it all this branding on here? I, I fly for an organisation called Flying for Freedom, yeah. uh, which is generally made up with uh, ex-military and serving military personnel that work under what they call the WIZ umbrella, which is Wounded, Injured and Sick. Okay. So I was uh, military, still am military on a part-time basis, but a couple of years ago uh, I had to get out because of medical reasons and then um, all these emails started coming through um, under the whiz umbrella and one of them was would I like a back seat in a, a microlite I ticked the box to say yes I went up to a place in York called uh, Rufford Airfield sat in the back of one of these for 30 minutes uh, went away for a, a couple of weekends and did some training uh, and they asked me if I wanted to become a pilot so, did, you, did you smile after that 30 minutes? Um, massively, massively. <laughs> uh, and almost two years to the day, uh, I ended up flying people in the back seat. So wow. I got my pilot's licence. I uh, think there was, you, you flew in a, from this very airfield, you flew, was it an 80 year old lady last time you were yes, here? Yes, I did. Yeah. Yes. And did I, she smile? Yes, she did. Yeah. yeah. Uh, in the back seat. So that was great. Uh, made her day. 
But uh, I come down to Wingland's because I also fly a power motors and this is my local airfield. Yeah. Uh, and today, over this weekend, over the bank holiday weekend, is a wacky weekend at, we at Wingland's. So I decided to come down in the Michaelite with another colleague of mine who, who is also under the Wiz umbrella. Is this the only Wiz aircraft? No, we've got three at the moment and the fourth one online. Uh, and they're spread around uh, the country. There's uh, two of them at the moment down in... Um, uh, Wiltshire and this one itself is a place called Heedon which is up by Retford in the Midlands. Okay, okay. What is the what is the main focus of WIS then? It is to get uh, wounded Indian sick military personnel into flying. Right, uh, okay. Probably the first stage of flying. Yeah. Um, and um, we got instructors uh, that are employed to make us pilots. Are they standard aircraft? We got three of these, uh, you know, just all under the same livery. The okay. fourth one is uh, being worked on at the moment, uh, and again, t the amount of pilots that we're getting through yeah. uh, requires that fourth aircraft. So are, they're all modified with different hand controls. Yes, and, and they are. Like. Yeah, we got people with uh, limbs missing, uh, double anti amputees, um, and you got hand throttles. Uh, hand brakes, you can have extensions uh, built onto the pedals right. within the aircraft. Yeah. Where is Wiz looking to go in the future? Because I, I think you've got a few things, you mentioned on the way over that you've got a few things planned. Yeah, the, the, the biggest challenge um, is obviously the funding, but there, there is a desire to go down to the Arctic and fly these aircraft down there and establish a couple of world records. Okay. Anything happening in the UK? This weekend, sorry, not this weekend, the weekend the 11th or 12th of September, there will be a flight Flying for Freedom meet down in Wiltshire. Oh wow! And you know, as many pilots as possible will go down there and get flying time in. Uh, general, light-minded people. Um, I, chit chat. I might have to poke my way in and see if I can come and visit. No, you're and see more than what you're welcome. About. You're so, more than welcome. Uh, brilliant. Okay. Well, let's say this is the joy of flex wing flying. Um, as I said, for me, flex wing flying makes me smile a lot. And if we can get those that have uh, served our country back flying, all the more the better by the team from Wiz. So hopefully you can still hear us at the moment. And I'm looking forward to meeting more of the other team from Wiz uh, at this uh, event in Over. So we'll, we'll cut it here. But Mike, thank you very much for explaining more thank about you. what you're doing. Not a problem. Many thanks. Hopefully in the video you will have seen lots and lots of bits and pieces and a wonderful interview with Mike O'Hara. Um, and I'll say I'll leave a link to their web page uh, at the top or in the description. So please go and have a look at that. They do some fantastic work. Um, the more I looked at it throughout the day, I was like, wow, they really do help some uh, some veterans get flying again. Leave you with a little bit of music for the view. Uh, it is a gorgeous view. Um, welcome to Lincolnshire. It's very flat, um, and I just want to enjoy the evening. decision to not go to Skegness because I realised with the, uh, the sun setting that uh, I might not get there and back safely with daylight hours and there's no point pushing it. So as you can see it's very very calm this evening uh, despite the wind. It's got a nice tailwind so I'm doing over 50 mile an hour downwind now but oh, look at that sunshine. There's Boston there. That's Boston underneath the sunshine with the sun glinting off the river. Well actually the uh, 
I don't know, what are they, 100 foot drains? Yeah, it's one of the 100 foot drains going through Boston. This is why we fly. Oh, wow. Love it, love it. Anyway, I've only got about 10 miles to go before I'm back, uh, so it should be oh, about 12, 14 minutes before I'm overhead. Um, Winglands, but it's just been one of those days that I've just been itching to fly uh, and enjoy the sky around this area. Very, very flat. Um, I actually learned to fly about 50 miles that way, 60 miles that way, North Norfolk. And, uh, and navigating around this area, you really have to use all your features because uh, there just isn't a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of hills or anything to navigate by. So anyway, um, hopefully I'll rejoin you in the overhead. Um, so I just want to get back now in, in, and uh, enjoy the uh, company of everyone else that's come to, to England. <laughs> it's my friend Angela. Whoosh. Welcome back. Uh, done all my rejoin checks. There's loads of paramotorists around. If I had the time, I'd still have my paramotor. Anyway, all the rejoin checks are done. Uh, there's some guys setting up on the ground. I've counted about seven or eight of the paramotorists now. They're all clearing off. I think that's my friend Dan down there. So I can meet up with Dan. <laughs> epic, absolutely epic. Racing a paramotor at Wingland. Slightly unfair. He's only got an Atom 80. So anyway, seems like most of them are cleared off now. Blimey, place is buzzing with paramotors. Paramotors everywhere and a flex swing underneath me. Blimey, head on a swivel today. Head on a swivel. Right, there's the 800 feet. Bloody hell, excuse my language. Paramotors everywhere. It's lovely to see. Paramotors absolutely everywhere. It's great to see them up and flying. No one on final. Be centre line. To idle. Looking long. Down checks. I'm not going to do an outro here, I'll leave that for the end of the day. It's grinning too much. Oh, that was fun, that was really good fun. Hello me! Yay, baby! <laughs> Hello me! <laughs> So this is 
pretty much bringing Wiglands to a close, but I managed to track this man down. Some of you may know of his channel. If not, I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. But he's done something even crazier than what I've done on a paramotor for a really, really good cause. If you haven't heard of Dan Jones or Daniel Jones, I don't know what your mother calls you. He's just flown from John O'Groats to Land's End on a paramotor 34 hours, five minutes. That's the one, yeah. Seven days. Seven days. For what reason? What was the crazy reason behind doing it? Well, I wanted to challenge myself, but um, at the same time, I lost my grandparents about three years ago to um, granddad to Alzheimer's, nanny to vascular dementia. And um, yeah, I wanted to raise some money for Alzheimer's Research UK. So why not put the two together and... Uh, and do, well, do I just a crazy go for a, adventure. Yeah, go for a few small flights, you know. <laughs> a few small flights. How many flights in total was it? Uh, it was 15, but one of them was only three to four minutes long and uh, yeah. ended in a tree. So uh, we'll save that one for the... Yeah. For look, the look, out for Dan, look out for Dan's video on that one. I've, I've seen the video footage already. Uh, you did squeal like a girl. It's quite, it's quite the scream, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but this is the mighty machine you've done it on? Yeah. Is it a Bulldog with an Atom 80? Yeah, Bulldog with an Atom 80. Um, I would like to say it didn't skip a beat, but that was more my behalf because I didn't check my spark plug. But um, maintenance, man, maintenance. Yeah, I know. When you get into that amount of flying, um, you just—I think it goes out the window a little bit, and you just forget, and you're so busy focused on you're trying to fly. Focused. Yeah, yeah. So um, there you go. You live and learn, don't you? Yeah. yeah. So how much have you raised so far? Um, last time I checked, we were at nine thousand three hundred pounds. God, let's try and get the ten grand. I know ten grand would be yeah, amazing. So be really I good. know it sounds corny. I will leave his just giving link in the description to this. <laughs> it's an amazing achievement what he's done uh, for such a young pilot and so new to the sport to be able to go and do that. And uh, and you still landed with a grin. I did. Yeah, I love it. I could have carried on really, but You're I ran out. Of, I ran out of land. So <laughs> <laughs> you ran out of land. I know that feeling, but from another reason. Anyway, this wraps up Winglands. It's getting a little bit blowy now. We I've flown for three days in a row. I'm happy. It's good to meet up with Dan and, and the other flyers that are here. Winglands is so friendly. So if you haven't been here before, there's been flex wings here all weekend. Uh, come and come and check out Winglands Airfield. It's a really friendly place to be. So we'll wrap this video up here. Until next time, everybody, fly safe.